Good afternoon everyone, this is Bremster and today I'm starting this video with the puzzle from the 1st of May 2024 and they say a change is as good as a holiday. It's May Day! So this is called Line Sums by Clover and the message that came with it is this. And here's a bad joke. What do you call a bee that was born today? A maybe. Okay, if you get a dinosaur today, you get a may, uh, may hakala. Okay, let's look at the puzzle. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And along each marked line, one of the digits is the sum of the remaining digits. I like this as a concept. I'm gonna restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So, 2, 5, either these sum to 7, or it's 2 plus 3, 2 plus 3 equals 5, and it can't be 7. So this is 2 plus 3 equals 5, because there's no other way I can make this work. Um, I, I'm trying to think how else I could explain that. I can't, this has to be part, of, this has to be part of the sum, because this is lower than this. So it's either this plus this equals this, or this plus this equals this, because this has to be part of the sum. The same is true here. This is either 8, 1 equals 9, or 8 plus 7, uh, sorry, 1 plus 8 equals 9, or 1 plus 7 equals 8. Eight. So this is 7 or 9, and the 7 looks up meaning that's the 9. Okay, so here we've got 1 plus 6 equals 7, or 1 plus 7 equals 8. And this is always because the lower digit has to be part of the sum. Now, this is either 1 plus 2 equals 3, or 2 plus 3 equals 5. That's not the place to look, but I'll get there. This is, because this must be part of the sum, it's either 2 plus 6 equals 8, or 2 plus 4 equals 6, and it's not 2 plus 4 equals 6, so this is an 8. Now, this must be part of the sum, so it's 2 plus 5 equals 7, or 2 plus 7 equals 9, and it's not 5, so this is the 9. This is either 1 plus 5 equals 6, or 1 plus 4 equals 5, and I'm not saying what to do there. Um, this is either 1 plus 3 equals 4, or 1 plus 4 equals 5, and it can't be that. So this is a 3. Now let's do some Sudoku, I figure. Um, maybe. All I know is my gut tells me maybe. Those 2s mean that is a 2, because that couldn't be a 2. So this is either 2 plus 6 equals 8, or 2 plus 8 equals 10. It's not 2 plus 8 equals 10, so that becomes a 6. Uh, 1 is in one of those three. I don't think that's what I'm looking at here. What is this pair? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6. And this 6 means that's the 4 and that's the 6. So let's look at this pair. 3, 7. So can I narrow that down? Yes, this 3 makes that the 7 and that the 3. So this is either 1 plus 3 equals 4, or 1 plus 2 equals 3. And it's not 1 plus 2 equals 3, so that's a 4. This is very cool. I like this a lot. So the 6, of course, looks up making that the 4, and it looks up making that the 8. If I'd seen this 6 earlier, um, I but I didn't, and that's on me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, and 9, and that 2 means that's the 9, and that's the 2. Uh, still don't know this. Now, this it must be part of the sum, so it's either 2 plus 3 equals 5, or 2 plus 5 equals 7. Uh, not seeing how to resolve that. So this is a 1-5 pair. So, this is interesting. This, this can't, if this was the total, this would have to be a 1-5, because it'd be 1 plus 5 or 5 plus 1, and it can't be because this is the 1-5. So, this can't be 1 plus what these this can't be the total is what we're finding out from this so this has to be included in the sum as does this well not yeah because this is lower and it can't be five plus six so this is the one plus six equals seven and that makes this the five that's very cool and a nice little twist on the logic we've used so far um there's probably a better way of explaining that but as i said you <laughs> explaining is tricky 1, 2, 3, one, two, three four, five, six, seven, and 9 go in. Oh, pardon me. There's no 6 in those, so that's the 6. That was... Bleh. No 6 there. The 7, of course, makes that the 9 and that the 7. 
So where do I want to look next? This triple. One, two, three, four, five, eight, and nine. There's an eight and nine already in column three. So there's the five. That becomes the eight and the nine. I'm not sure how to resolve that. That puts five in one of those two, but this is a triple now. One, five, seven. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are three and four. The four makes that the three and that the four. The three looks across making that the seven. I'm done with the constraints now, except for that one. There's no seven there. There's no five there. So this one is going to be important. I just don't know how yet uh, because there will be more Sudoku to do. Three, four, and nine go in. There's no three in either of those. So that's the three. And I'm not sure how to resolve the four, nine. What am I missing from this? Four, six, eight, nine. There's no four in either of those. So these are six, eight, nine. There's no nine there. There's no eight there. Oh, there's no six there either. That's the eight, which puts eight down here. It is going to be this line, but investigate holding off the investigation of that for as long as possible is so tempting. One is in one of those. Three is in one of those two. It's going to make me do it, isn't it? These are four, five, six, and eight. I need to put an eight in one of those two. There's no six in either of those. So I've already got that. So these are four, five, eight, and there's no five in them. So this is a four, eight pair. This is the six. This is the five. This is the four. We should look at making that the nine and that the four. This is going to simplify everything. It makes that the nine. This is a, oh, there's no two there. Why did I have two in there? That was a bad typo because there was, that must've been a mistypo. One, three, six. There's no six there. There's no three there. There must That must have been a mistype. Two, three, nine. There's no three there. There's no nine there. Okay, this is not helping. Six, eight, nine go into those. So this is an eight, nine pair. That becomes a six. Okay. So it's going to be naked singles or something. This could be a one. It can't be two, three, four, five, six, seven. It can be eight, it can be nine. Okay, this one can't be one, it can be two, three, can't be four, five, six, seven, two, three, seven. Uh, and this one can't be one, two, can be three, can't be four, five, six, seven. Okay. There's a lot of possibilities here, I think. If this is not, this can't be nine. Because if this is nine, it'd either have, oh no, it could be two, seven. Okay, so I'm missing something incredibly obvious here. This four looks up making that the eight and that the four. That puts four right there. That nine makes that the eight and that the nine, which makes that the eight which means eight is right. That is an eight. And these both have to be lower than eight. I can't put nine on the line. So these have to sum to eight and they're not seven, one, and they're not two, six. So this is three and five. There you go. I told you I was missing something. Um, the five means that's not the five. So this is the five. These are two and seven. The seven looks down, making that the two and that the seven. The two looks up, making that the nine, taking the nine out of there. The three looks up, making that the two and that the three. Now I'm down to pairs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll use the two to make that the six and that the two. The six makes that the one, that the six, that the three. Hopefully that's correct. Five goes here and there's no five. I'm not sure about this triple. One, seven, nine. There's a seven and a nine there. So that becomes the one making that the seven and that the one. There's no one in either of those. And I'll use that seven to make that the nine and that the seven. And that is the correct solution. Eight minutes, 16 almost certainly out of the time, but whatever. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that one. I hope these puzzles continue to be like this. Really, really fun. And these would be more interesting disambiguators than just dropping in a crop key dot or something. So um, people often get stuck at the end of a puzzle and go, I don't know how to disambiguate some really cool logic. Look at throwing 
a, a couple of these sorts of lines in or something like this, because normally by the time someone gets to that point, they've normally got like a bunch, just a bunch of unresolved digits. And you could probably do something with like two or three lines like this or other constraints that are a little bit more logically interesting and then trying to test and see if that breaks your puzzle because I reckon this these are a lot more interesting than stuff like that um, as disambiguators. You definitely don't see them as much and it could it would feel more like it was part of the puzzle rather than I just stuck a dot in to make it work. Anyway, really cool. I, I mean, that's a lesson I need to learn. Really cool, Clover. Thank you very much. And I'll be back with tomorrow's puzzle. And now the puzzle for the 2nd of May 2024 called Dream Big by Bill Murphy. And the message is, hey, we've got a loose theme to kick off the month to of Justin Timberlake voice me of of hang on. Hey, we've got a loose theme to kick off the month of Justin Timberlake voice me of we set a stack of puzzles where we've aimed for less than seven two hat times. It was originally only a week, but we made a bunch. So yeah, if you're new to gas, the next little while is dedicated to you. If you're a veteran, find a buddy and race them. I don't care if you race me. You win before I even try. Or don't. The whole point is that you have fun, enjoy yourself, and don't dare measure your progress against anyone else. But winning is fun too. Don't care about winning. And if you do, congratulations. Um, okay. So uh, here is the... Uh, if you get a dinosaur today, you get a dotted dreadnoughtus. So... Um, okay, so normal Sudoku rules apply, and digits separated by a white dot must be consecutive. Not all white dots are given. Okay, this uh, mm, this could be messy. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. I'm not aiming for time. So consecutive with one must be two. Consecutive with two is one or three, and one's not available. This is three. Consecutive with three, we've only got two options, which are two and four. There's already a two in the box, so that becomes the four, that becomes the two, that becomes the four. Right. Now, consecutive with eight is only seven or nine. If that was a nine, that would have to go back to eight as the only digit consecutive. So that's seven. Consecutive with seven is only six and eight, and eight is not possible. So this is the six. Consecutive with six is only five and seven. Those two both see seven, so they're five. That now sees a five, so that's a seven. Consecutive with four is only three or five, but it sees a five, so that's a three. This is, three is only consecutive with two or four, and it sees a four so that's a two consecutive with two is only one and three those two both see threes so there was ones that one is now makes that a three okay we got some launching consecutive with five is only four or six but it sees a four so that becomes a six consecutive with six is only five or seven but it sees a five so it's seven consecutive with seven is only six or eight but those two both see sixes so they're eight that becomes a six now these are now five and nine um, but that one sees a uh, nine, so it's five. That becomes the nine. Hooray. Uh, this is now eight and nine. That one sees a nine, so it's the eight. That's the nine. Consecutive with eight is only seven or nine, but it sees a nine, so that's seven. Consecutive with seven is only six or eight, but it sees a six, so that becomes an eight. This is a pair, which is four and nine. That one sees a nine, so that is four and that is nine. Consecutive with four is only three or five. Uh, four, three, uh, could be four again. Not sure that's the right place to look. These have to be one and nine. And again, that means that is a one. Therefore, that is a nine. Consecutive with one is only two. Consecutive with two is one or three. Okay. Now, one is exactly here by Sudoku. This is a triple, which is two, three, and four. There's no two there. Mm, okay, two is in one of those two. Now, I can't put one on this run of dots, but I'm not sure. Now, there must be an even digit on each of these runs of dots. So, one of the, so these are from six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, no, they could be five, six. I, uh, okay. Nine is in one of those two. Up here, is it the same? Nine is not in those or those. Nine is in one of those two. Yes, it is. So this is either one, two, three. 
actually this is one two three one two three because it's a run of three digits and all see each other so it could be one two three it can't be two three four three four five four five six five six seven six seven eight or seven eight nine so this is one two three that's interesting i suppose so these are seven eight nine there's no eight in either of those so that becomes the eight therefore that's the nine and that's the seven okay now, this has to be a two in the middle of the run. That was a faster way of doing it. I'm not going to get the time, but anyway. Oh, consecutive with five. I should have done that. Consecutive with five is either four or six. Interesting. So are these one, three, four, six? So these are one, three, four, and six. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are one, three, four, and six, but the only consecutive digits out of those are three and four. So that has to be the three, four, which makes that the six, that the one, which makes that the three. Six is only consecutive with five or seven, and it can't be the seven, so that's the five, so that is the three, that is the one. By consecutiveness, now that is the four. Now three, four either goes two, three, four, or um, five, four, three. So this is two or five. Uh, this is not a nine anymore. This is a nine. This is two or five. One, two, three, four, five. This is a six. This is a two, three, four triple, but the three, four makes that the two, which makes that the five, which makes that the two, three, four, which makes that the three, which means that is the four. These are pairs, which are one, two, three, five and seven, not sure. One, two, three, four, five, six and eight, which I can resolve because there's already an eight in column Eight, that is column eight. Okay, uh, five is right there by Sudoku. So these are six, seven, and eight. There is no seven in the top. So that is the seven, the six, eight. I'm not sure how to resolve, but let's look at these pairs because this is two, three, four, five, six. Yep, two, three. The three looks like making that the two and that the three. So these are one and four, and I can resolve those because there's already the given four in column nine. Okay. So this run of three digits, it's not one, two, three, it's not two, three, four, it's not three, four, five, it's not four, five, six, five, six, seven, it can't be six, seven, eight, and it can't be seven, eight, nine. This is five, six, seven. There is no six there. There's no five or six there. This is the seven, this is the six, this is the five. I could always put the middle digit in. These are one, two, and nine. There is no one there. There's no two in either of those. That's the two. This is the one, nine, and that one makes that the nine and that the one. It's always a little bit slower when you're trying to explain what you're doing. These are three and nine, and I'll use that to resolve it. Three and nine. These are seven and eight. So this is either this can't be seven, eight, nine. So it is eight, seven, six. That makes this the four. The eight looks like making that the six and that the eight. Five minutes fifty-five. Well, they did say under seven minutes, and I did do it in under seven, but I don't know how much under seven they were aiming for. That was fun. I like that one. I really do like these interactions. These were cool. Um, and if we're going to get a month of these, this is going to be fun. Um, this is going to be a May is going to be fun. May may be fun. May may be fun. May may be fun. Maybe may may. may, may I, I I'm going to stop before my brain implodes. Too late. See you tomorrow. The puzzle for the 3rd of May 2024 is called Lookma No Cages from Philip Newman. And the message that came with it um, is, it's May. See if you can figure out the theme I'm going for this month, assuming I even stick to it. Who knows? Um, normal Sudoku rules apply. If you get a dinosaur today, you get a European Eucinemosaurus. Okay, so uh, normal Sudoku rules apply. So I may as well restart the puzzle and give this a shot. So ones can't go in those. So that's a one. Um, two is in one of those two, but that's a four because of the fours looking up. Do I have anything similar? Yes, that's a three because of the threes looking across and threes put three there. I don't know. This is a triple. Uh, five, six, and seven, but there's no five in those. So that's the five. The six, seven is resolved by the seven, six and seven. Okay, this uh, one, don't know, six is in one of those two, eight and nine, not sure, but six being in one of those two means six is in one of those two, that six means that's a six, this is now a triple, isn't it? Yes, so it's one, two, nine, there's no one there, there's no two there, there's no one there, so the two nine makes that the one, okay, puts one in one of those two, cool. 
This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. There's no seven there, so seven is in one of those two. There's no eight there. I may as well mark that. Um, 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 um. So, two is in, oh no, no it's not. One, two can't be there. Five is in, oh, five is right there. Because five, five, and that five looking across. So what are these? Two, eight, nine. So that's eight or nine. And that's eight or nine. That's the two. So that's the nine. Eight, nine. That's the nine because of that eight. So that's the eight. Okay. So is it this quadruple? I need to put a three in one of those, which I have. Four, five, six. Nope. Seven. Nope. But eight is in one of those two. This, one, two, three, four is in one of those two. Seven, I don't know. Eight and nine, I don't know. Okay. Four is in one of those two. Six. No, oh, that's a four, nine pair. So that's one because four, nine can't go in there. So that's not the one. And this is the six. That means six is in one of those two now. This is interesting. Fascinating. So this or five and two, 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 one, one, one. Three is in one of those two. This is a no, it's not a three eight pair because eight can go there. Whoo, I'm not sure. One, two is in one of those two. Hmm, I'm... That's a six because of the four sixes looking into the box. So one, two, four, and nine. So that's one or nine only because of the two, four. That's a two, four only. And this is a one, two only because it's got a four and a nine. That's very weird. One, two, five, and seven. Five is in one of those two. Two is in one of the, ah, that's a two. So that two means that's the four. So that's the nine. That's the one. That's the two. Does that do much? Puts nine in one of those two. That's the four. So that's the four. These are seven, eight, nine. There's no nine there. These are one, five, and seven. There's no one there. There's no five there. Why have I got, oh, because of that. That's the seven. No seven there. This is a one, five pair. And the one is looking down, making that, no, 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 not both of them. That, the five, and that, the one. So these are, well, yeah, seven is in one of those two because of that seven. So these are six, eight, and nine, but that's not that helpful. There's a one in one of those two. These are one, eight, and nine. Again, not that helpful. That's not the fault of the puzzle. That's the fault of the solver. One, sorry, three, seven, and eight for those, I think. Yes, three, seven, and eight. So that's three or eight, and the others don't seem to be that restricted. This is a triple. One, three, eight. There's no one there. Ah, oh, there's no three in either of those. So eight, one, and three. The eight takes eight out of those. That two looks up saying, that's not the two, that's the two. So this is one, six, or nine. Where's one in, oh no, no, that one makes that the nine, that the six, that the eight, that the one. One, two, three, four, five, that's a seven now. These, oh, the eight made that a nine. I hope I haven't made a mistake. I've got that terrible feeling you get sometimes. It's like, I've made a mistake somewhere. Seven and eight go into those. 
the three makes that the eight. These, five, nine. So these are two, three, seven. Two, not there. Two and seven makes that the three. So that's the seven and that's the two. This column is missing a three. So this has to be five or nine and it sees a nine. So five, nine, five, one, two, three, four, nine. So again, four and nine. The five makes that six and five. The eight comes out of those. So seven, nine, eight. One, two, I need to put a three there. I need to put a six there. So that's the eight and that better be the seven. And that is the solution. Six minutes, 44. Probably not a good enough time, but yeah, I definitely stumbled again with the classics. I'm, but I'm, I'm trying to practice them. Um, I've spent the weekend doing other more tricky puzzles and learning new things, but I had a lot of fun with that one, but I've got a bunch of these to record. So I'm going to move straight on to tomorrow's puzzle. And on the 4th of May, may the 4th be with you, we have an anti-night puzzle. So a Sith puzzle. Um, here's the message that Clover gave with it. I hope you enjoyed going back to basics with a classic yesterday. You could try to solve today's guess as a classic, but you get exactly zero digits being forced to guess at random. Take that, everyone who's ever complained that my anti-night puzzles sometimes nearly solve as classics. Um... If you get a dinosaur today, you get a classic Corythosaurus. Okay, so um, normal Sudoku rules and any um, digit separated by a knight's move, as in chess, are never the, uh, equal. Basically, any time you could draw this shape between two digits in any rotation or orientation or flipping, they cannot contain the same digits. So, for example, that... Because I can draw that shape, that couldn't be a five. Because I can draw that shape, that couldn't be an eight. Because I can draw that shape, that couldn't be a three. Because I can draw that shape between them. And it's the same everywhere. That can't be a six because I can draw that shape between those two cells. That's the way it works. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Two can't be in those. Two can't be in any of those because that's who sees that one by Sudoku and those two by Knight's Move. Can't be there. Two is in one of those two, but that two sees that one by Knight's Move and that becomes a two. That puts a two here by Sudoku. Now, can I repeat that? Four can't be in any of those. Four can't be there. So four is in one of those two, but that four says that's not a four by Knight's Move. So that's a four, which places a four here. This is a triple, but that has to be the one. These are now three and nine. The three makes that the nine and that the three. Now, five has to go in one of those two, but that five sees that one by Knight's Move. So that's the five. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. Now that's not a five, and it's also not an eight by knight's move. That's the six. This becomes a five, eight. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, seven, and nine. There's no four there. That sees that by knight's move, so that's not a seven. Not sure that's helping me, but these are one, three, six. That can't be a one or a six, so that's the three, and that's just by normal Sudoku. Um, these are four, eight and nine, that eight, oh, there's, that eight sees that one as well, but that four does as well, so that's the nine. This becomes a four, eight, but that eight sees that one, so that's the four, that's the eight. That puts eight down in one of those, but mm, that's not really helping me much. Four has to go in one of those by Sudoku, but that four sees that one by Knight's move, so that's the four. Putting four over in one of those two by Sudoku, but that four sees that one by Knight's move, and that becomes the four, taking four out of there. The seven, nine pair makes that the four, and I think that's all the fours. Eight is in one of those two by Sudoku, but that eight sees that by Knight's move, and that's, not, that's now the eight. This is a quadruple, two, five, seven, and nine. Now, two sees that one and that one by Knight's move. Seven sees that one. There's no five in either of those, so the five is in one of those, but that five sees that one, so that's the five. The seven, nine pair makes that the two. I could have used the two for that, but I got there in a different way. The nine looks down, making that the seven and that the nine. This is a pair now, three and six. That three sees that by Knight's move, so six and three. Uh, three is in one of those two now by Sudoku, but I haven't figured it out. Um, five and eight go into those, but I don't know. Two, six and nine go into those, but two can't be there. Six can't be there. 
uh, don't know. One, three, and seven. Three can't be there. One can't be there. Three can't be there either. So that's the seven. That's the one. That's the three. That means this is not the three, and that's the three. Okay. I'm having fun with this. This is amazingly good fun. These are one, two, and seven. Now that one is knocking, it sees both of those by either Sudoku or Knight's move. So that's the one. The two makes that the seven and that the two. Uh, okay, so these. I have to put one in one of those two by Sudoku, but that one sees that one. So that's a one. This is beautifully designed. Three, five, nine go into those. There's no three there and there's no three there. So that's the three. Uh, that nine sees that one by Knight's move. So five and nine. This is beautiful. Two, six, and nine go into those. That two sees that one. The nine sees that one. These, one, two, three, four, five, seven, and eight. So these are five, seven, and eight. That five and the seven both see that one. So that becomes the eight. This is a five, seven. Don't know what that's doing. Okay, so this is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine go into those. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight go into those. Now, five sees that one. Six sees that one. I've missed, I've missed something. I've absolutely missed something. Or it's got a punchier ending than I was expecting. Four, 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 one, one, one is in one of those two. Now, five, six, eight, they all see that. So I'm looking for a naked single, maybe. So this couldn't be five, six, or eight. So it can't be one. It can be two. It can't be three, four, five. Because if I put a five here, I couldn't put a five in either of those. Can't be six. It might be able to be seven. Can't be eight. It could be nine. That's not it, is it? That can't be seven or nine. That can't be nine because of that one. I was using those, but it's also true because of that. Okay, so I've got to put a five in one of those two for the row. Where's five in this column? Can't put five there or there because I need to put five in that row. That's the five, which means this is not a five, so it's a seven, that's a five. That seven knocks seven out of those. And there, that's not a seven anymore. So seven is in one of those two. And those both see that one. So that can't be a seven. That's the nine. That's the seven. Which sees, goes, jumps back and sees that one. So that's the seven. That seven looks like making that the nine and that the seven. Which means nine is in one of those two. What, this is one, six or eight. So it's one or eight. And the eight sees it. So that's the one. So that's the six. That's the eight. That's the one. I've possibly missed a better way of doing this, but whatever. The six looks across taking six out of those. Those are a two nine pair. So this is five or eight and it sees a five. So that's the eight. That's the five. That's the eight. Still don't have it, do I? Two or nine go into here. The nine makes that the two, that the nine. The two jumps across making that the nine, which makes that the six, which makes that the two, which makes that the nine, which makes that the six, which makes that the two. There's no eight there. Oh, the eight makes that the five and that the six. The five looks like making that the eight and that the five. 645. Again, probably missed the timer, but that was a lot of fun. These are just fun. I think they said something about May being puzzles where they would try and do um, the uh, puzzles that could be solved a lot faster than ones that they've done recently. So far, I'm really enjoying these. Let's see if tomorrow's is as good.
And now on the 5th of May, it's time to solve Wheel of Fortune by Bill Murphy. Here's the message that came with it. Today's zone Sudoku was 100% intended to be a pencil mark Sudoku, which is probably the most niche thing that I enjoy setting. But the issue with doing these for gas, um, th- doing them for gas is uh, that bug where you refresh or undo, it doesn't do that. So please know that I am sacrificing my absolutely beloved genre for your solving ease. Please and thank you. I'm pretty certain we'd fixed that. Um, I thought we'd made it that pencil mark Sudoku did actually work and we worked with Sven to make that work you just had to set it in a tool that sent them through as candidate markings rather than um, like if you do it in Penper it doesn't work and I think F puzzles there is a code signal you can send through but I thought we'd fixed it anyway um, if you get a dinosaur today you get a beautiful uh, Bothripolis okay so uh, Wheel of Forge normal Sudoku rules apply digits in the top left of cages must appear in the enclosed cells Okay, I'm going to, so yeah, these must be one, two, these must be three, four, these must be five, seven. Okay, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Okay, so we know these are one, two, these are three, five, these are two, nine, these are three, four, but the three, five looking over makes that the four and that the three, five, seven, but I can't put five there, so that's the seven and that's the five, one, four, but I can't put four there, so that's the one and that's the four. Um, this may have a roll-on effect, but I don't know. These are one and six. These are three and four, because I can't put the four there. Two and five, I'm not sure. Seven, eight, I'm not sure, but that is definitely a nine. Uh, five, six, I can put in because of the five. One, seven, I can put in because of the one. Six, nine, I can put in because of the six. Uh, seven, eight, I'm not sure. Oh, yes, I can. I can make the seven and the eight go in. I can put in the three and the one because of the one. The five here means that I can put in the eight and the five, which means that's the seven and the eight. I've got to be able to take this further, right? Yeah, the five looks like making that the three and that the five. Of course, the one, two made that the nine and that the two. Uh, the one looks like making that the two and that the one. Um, and I'm not sure how to resolve these yet. So let's do some Sudoku. One goes into here, which puts one here. One is in, I'm not sure. Okay, so let's look somewhere else. Three is here, which puts three in one of those two, but three uh, is also in one of those two. Okay, that's not it. This is a triple. No, it's not. It's not a triple at all. Don't even think about it. But that's a four, so that's a three. These are now two and eight. So, And I know the order, two and eight. So can I take that further? Well, I, these are a seven, eight pair. And I know the order because of the that. So seven and eight. So these are one, two, three, four and six. And because of the four in row two, I can put those in. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. And because of the seven, I can go six and seven. This is a triple two, eight and nine. There's no nine in those. So that's the nine. And then I can do the eight and the two because of the two. These are now triples, four, five and six. So one, eight, and nine. Now the four takes four out of there. The eight comes out of there. The nine comes out of there. Uh, the six makes that the five, meaning I can take the five out of those. Okay, what's this triple? Two, three, seven. There's no, well, there's no three or seven there. So that's the two and I can take the two out of those. The three looks down making that the seven and that the three. Not sure what that's doing. I still haven't resolved these. This is very, very weird. One, two, three, four, five, four, six, and nine. I typed the right, right thing. I said the wrong thing. The six makes that the four and that the six. Now I've got more triples. Four, five, nine. The four and the five make that the nine, which takes nine out of there. The nine looks up taking nine out of there. Uh, the five looks down making that the two and that the five finally. This now has to be one or eight. What are these? Well, there's no three there. These are one, two, and eight. So there's no two there. There's no two there. That's a two. There's something in this column. The five makes that the four and that the five. The four looks up making that the six and that the four. The six looks down making that the one and that the six. The one looks up making that the eight, that the one. That's already a nine. The one looks down making that eight and that one. Great. In here, uh, five and six, and I'll use the five to make that the six and that the five. This 
pair one two three four five six seven and nine and i'll use the nine to make that the seven and that the nine these are now two three and eight there's a two and an eight already in that row and then i can use that eight to make that the two and that the eight this column is missing a two this row one two three four five and seven so the five makes that the seven and that the five this box i need to put a three in the box so the three goes there i need to put a four in the box which has to go there these are now six and nine and i'll use that nine to make that six and that nine there you go four minutes 17. cool I think this was the last puzzle in the series as well. I, I actually completely forgot to check. I'm enjoying these ones. These actually feel like genuinely approachable Sudoku with a lot of fun to use from the constraints. These are fun. These are much more fun than some of the others I've done recently. Now, I've enjoyed them, but these feel more like genuinely approachable Sudoku. This has been a, so far, May has been a great month for genuinely approachable Sudoku, and definitely where I would start throwing people at. If this month continues, this would be a great jumping on point for people who want to get into Sudoku. Phenomenal. Let's see how it goes. Um, thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you're enjoying this video. It might be shorter than some of the recent ones. Um, yeah, and as always... Good luck with your solving.